What's up, Android fans? Takemi is back with another app roundup just for you guys. So let's get through it. Okay, let's start today's app roundup with the first app, and that's called B Weather, right over there, the umbrella. That's for the weather. Okay, this is B Weather. B Weather gives you the weather of the city with the cool animations. So right here, I have Indiana. Right over here, I have San Jose, and it's cloudy in there. Then over here, I have New York, and it's partially cloudy in here. And right over here, I have Miami, where it's all sunny and bright. So as you can see, different weathers, different cool animations. And over here, it gives me the detail of the city, right over there with the weather. And if I press on anywhere on the screen, it gives me the daily uh, weather like Sunday and then on Monday how it's going to be and Tuesday how it's going to be and all that stuff and then there's hourly right down there if I click on hourly then it gives me by the hour and I can scroll and I can see the whole day then I can even go sun moon this is sun moon phase right over here so that's uh, so this is a pretty cool animation you can as add, as add as many cities as you want so we can add another city and you can just go by my location or whatever. And so it's really cool app. Probably one of my favorite apps of today, B Weather. So as you can see, really cool animations. Like the HTC Sense Weather. So really cool animations, changes as you scroll, you can just swipe through, change the city. That's B Weather. Next up, we have Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher. Well, this is basically, uh, from the pictures, the de de developer made a launcher from the pictures of Ice Cream Sandwich, that's the next upcoming Android update. So, this is how it's supposed to look like, we don't know how it's going to look like, so let's see. Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher. Okay, and let's go to Start Launcher. And as you can see right over there, that's Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher, if we click right here, we can go into our apps, we can even have our app, uh, this is the app drawer and then we can even have the widget drawer or basically you can go into the widgets the browser and right over here we have the recent application now this is really cool for the ice cream sandwich launcher right over there look at that these are the recent apps actually it's not the running apps but it gives me standard because it's not completely ice cream sandwich bait, but based but if ice cream sandwich does have this this is going to be super cool these are the running applications so they have the small window type things, like right here I have the browser, market, SMS, email, calendar, and I click on one of them, I can just go straight into that. Like I went straight into my maps, right? That's really, really cool. And then I have the system settings to play around with. So that's Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher, basically. This is the basic overview of the Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher, how it's going to be the standard Android launcher for 2.5. So that's really cool. I'm really looking forward to Ice Cream Sandwich. Okay, let's go back to ADW, my favorite launcher till today. Actually, Go Launcher is my s top favorite too. Okay, next up we have. Okay, this is a Twitter client and it's called Twitterific. Is it called? No, it's not called Twitterific. It's called Tweetcaster. There you go. So Tweetcaster is like Friendcaster. I've reviewed Friendcaster. If you want to check out Friendcaster for Facebook, click right over there somewhere. Okay. So this is Tweetcaster for Twitter. So right over here, that's Tweetcaster. So here are all the news updates for Tweetcaster. I can go into this, and these are my mentions. People who like my video, who's linked right over there. See people liking the video. Then here are the messages, and these are the my favorite uh, tweets. And right over here, I can have lists. Now this is really cool about Tweetcaster. You can have lists. Like right over here, I have two lists. One is uh, check it out. This is my Android list. Actually, this is my iPhone list. And then we go back to list. No, let's go back to list and let's go back to the list and this is my second list and this is uh, the Android list so you can I can check out only the Android uh, news updates or whatever and I can even check out my 
iPhone if I want to. I'm mean, just made it for the heck of it. And then I can even add more lists, like I, I can add news or something, like daily news or something. So that's really really cool. Really like Tweetcaster, but. The only part I don't like about Tweetcaster, it doesn't provide me with a 4x4 full screen widget like Plume does. This is Plume that I usually use, the scrollable widget. So I still am favoriting in towards Plume. So next up, that's Tweetcaster. You, can, you guys can check it out. Next up, we have Wonderlist. Wonderlist is basically a list of things to do. So, but then again, like Tweetcaster, this one also has lists you can make like YouTube I have it right there right like YouTube I have to finish editing my videos and make two more new videos before Thursday or whatever okay so that's my uh, things to do for YouTube but then I can add another list list right over there so let's add a new list saying work now I have a work list I can add new things there's nothing there's nothing to do but I can add new tasks in my work list so I can add like whatever suppose this is my task and then so that's my task to do if I want to finish it I can just click if I've been done with it just click that if I want to prioritize it I can just click the star right over there so that's really cool about this let's go back and we have the list we have things to do for today I have nothing for today then I have the things overdue which I haven't done in the past days and then the overdue and then I have my star that is priority list and then I have more Next up, next up we have do it tomorrow. This is another to-do list, but this is cool. I like this more than uh, wonder list. It's not as complicated. It, d it has very few options, and then that's about it. So here I have things to do. So uh, what is this? Things to do. I have make my make best app roundup, which I'm doing right now, and then I have edit and upload best uh, multitasking app video which I have already done if you want a link check it out right over there so that's multitask. so I'm done with that so I can just click on that and boom it's crossed out okay suppose I can't finish this today then I can postpone it to tomorrow and this is today September 25th and tomorrow see it's moved up moved up to tomorrow so back and move back to today so the good part about this is I can add the things to do, like add the thing to do, um, let's just make some crap, okay? And right over there, whatever that is, that's my new task, right? Now, I've added a new task, but the cool part is if I don't finish it today, they automatically get postponed it to tomorrow. So it's do it tomorrow, that's the app name. Really cool, really handy, really useful. Next up, next up we have Yelp. Yelp is basically an app to search nearby places, gas stations, and all that stuff. Okay, so here we have Yelp, and we can search nearby, or we can about me if I make a Yelp account, and then check-ins. I can check into places, I can bookmark places, and I can deal. This is basically like Yellow Pages. Suppose I want to look up a library, so I click on libraries, right? and then it shows me all these libraries that are near me so, so search nearby when we go to search nearby you can search restaurants you can search all these things that's Yelp next up we have Pops Pops is basically an animated pop-up for Facebook SMS Gmail and Twitter so let's check it out alright this is Pops these are all the animations I can download. Right. Let's see, suppose I want Superman uh, notifications, okay? So suppose I want Facebook notifications with Superman. So when, when Facebook notifications comes in, this is what pops up on my screen. Cool, right? Wait, let me put up the media volume. There we go. So that's um, Pops. Um, we can have different animations, like let's have the butler and let's go to gmail animation for butler and boom and the message pops up right over there so it's really cool um, you can have it set for different animations for different ones um, and there we have it and that's the text message pops up <laughs> so it's a really cool animation so that's pops and 
So that's Pops SMS or Gmail or whatever. So it's re really cool animations for notifications. Next up, next up we have Clear Defaults or what is this called? Basically, it's called Default App Manager. So here we can set default applications for particular things. So let's see. Suppose I want to clear my camera. No, camera I don't have. Let's clear home launcher, okay? So suppose right now I have ADW set as my default launcher. I click right over there and I can check. I can clear the defaults of for the launcher, for my standard launcher, and I can set anything else like I can set Go launcher or Windows 7 launcher. So I have all these ice cream sandwich launchers. So I have all these launchers installed just playing around with for you guys, right? So. I can set Go Launcher or whatever I, don't, I like. So that's really nice, okay? It's really handy, really nifty. Don't have to go into details of other things. Really cool. Next up, we have Gentle Alarm. Gentle Alarm is for really deep sleepers, basically. Okay? So what this does is basically it starts out slow. Like it goes tee -tee 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 -tee, really slow. And then it's, uh, as the time progresses, starts increasing its volume and then so that you don't get disturbed in your deep sleep state this is the alarm so let's click on alarms and right over here I have a 1030 alarm it's 1052 let's change the time and let's see what happens so it's my name of the alarm I can set my name um, let's uh, times 1053 right so let's change it to about let's say 1115 okay what happens now if I change it to 11:15? See, right over there, the time is set for 11:15, but the pre-alarm will start off at 10:45. That's what it says. So that's pre-alarm is a gentle alarm that starts out really slow, and then with time it progresses to really loud, and then you can get up. So it's really useful. It actually does work. I've tried it, and it does work for deep sleepers like me. So really cool, really nifty app. So that's gentle alarm. I can even get a notification right over there on the notification bar. And then I have profiles that I can set. I can have work. I can have, uh, oh, here's all the details. Um, I can start out at 30% or 25% of the full volume. So I can set, set that as pre-alarm. And then I can uh, max it out to 100 eventually. Okay. This is touch dial. What is this? Touchpad dial. So in touchpad dial, basically I click on it, so this is touchpad dial, I have these random numbers, whatever, okay, so, it's, and it gives me the state, this is, it says Ohio, this is Oklahoma supposedly, whatever, okay, so this is the dial pad you have, it's a different dial pad than normally what you're used to, you can dial, and when you start dialing, suppose I want to dial Randy or whatever, right, when I start dialing, I can go, I can go with the T9 dictionary, so I can type in R A N D, and right over there I have the Randy. So I can just click on that and I can dial him, right? So then, uh, so that's T9 dialer base, so it's really cool. Then I have the call logs, I have my contacts, I have my favorites, and I have more, right? So that's all that other stuff on the top. So this is touchpad that touchpad dialer. So if you want, you can set it as your default dialer. And like I said, for setting default dialers or default any applications, you can just use this new little app, Default App Manager. Okay, that's it for today. The best live wallpaper of today was Koei Live Wallpaper, as you can see in the back of the screen. And it even has ripples when I touch it and fishes pop up. So that's Koei Live Wallpaper. And the best app for this week was definitely... B weather really cool really useful app all right tell me what you thought tell me what your favorite app was thank you for watching and subscribe take care guys bye bye